small signal diode model. This model is operated at a DC biased point on the forward current voltage characteristic curve. In this model, a small AC signal is superimposed on DC. This model is linearization of exponential model. Now, this is simple diode model. Here, this is VDD. This is R. Current ID is flowing in this direction. This is diode and diode voltage is VD. Now consider a situation in which this VDD is undergoing a small change delta VDD. This diode voltage is changing by an increment delta VD. Similarly, this diode current is changing by an increment delta ID. So for this situation, circuit becomes like this, where this is representing change in VDD. This is VDD. This is R. Now current is ID plus delta ID and voltage is VD plus delta VD. So this circuit is representing small change in quantities like VDD, ID, and VD. Now we will understand the current voltage characteristic curve of small signal diode model. This is the IV plane where the variable of x axis is VD and the variable of y axis is ID. Now here this curve is representing exponential diode current equation from constant voltage drop model we know that this exponential curve is approximated by a straight line which is a slope that is one upon rt now this straight line or slope it is tangent at q this Q is a bias point. The coordinates of this bias point give us the values of unknown quantities like diode current and diode voltage. It means if we draw a straight line from this point on Y axis, we get the value of ID, which is bias current and if we draw a line from this point on x-axis we get the value of VD which is bias voltage. Now as I have mentioned that in this small signal diode model a small AC signal is superimposed on DC so we draw this AC signal like this. This is showing current ID and for voltage this small AC signal is drawn like this. This is VD. So this is the current voltage characteristic curve of small signal diode model. In case of small signal diode model, there are two quantities. One is a DC quantity and other is time varying or 
AC quantity. Okay. Now in this case, we express the voltage across the diode as the sum of DC voltage and time varying voltage, which is equal to VD. Correspondingly, the diode current will be ID plus ID is equal to ID. Now here, these terms are representing DC quantities. Note that they are written in uppercase with uppercase subscript and here these terms are representing AC or time varying quantities and they are written in lowercase with lowercase subscript. Now these are total instantaneous quantities that are written in lowercase with uppercase subscript. We know that instantaneous quantities are those that are measured at a particular instant and they are DC plus time varying. We know that ID is equal to IS e raised to the power V divided 